Okay, um, before I was cut off, I was talking about how, um, DMX's character and, um, Belly, um, goes to a Jamaican drug lord named Ox, so that way Buns, which is DMX's character, could become from small time to even big time, more big time, of a drug dealer. He goes to the, the powerful drug lord and makes a deal. And um, him and his crew make a huge fortune. <clears throat> but soon the feds are hot on Buns' trail along with a drug dealer named Rico. Who snitches to the feds in order to get Buns off the streets. And that's where it begins with the feds being hot on Buns' trail. Um, eventually, um, he gets released and he runs into this guy. Who wants him to commit an assassination attempt on this um this minister? It tells him if he if he doesn't do the hit, he's gonna be in prison for the rest of his life. And how if he does this assassination job, you know, if Buns does it, he could get he could get off. This film for me gets a five star rating. It's a great film. Um, now, on to my next um, movie review. Which is, of course, Leprechaun and the Hood. Leprechaun in the Hood, of course, stars Warwick Davis as a leprechaun. This movie is about a group of upcoming, upcoming rappers whom steal from a gangster, played by Ice-T, whom stole from the leprechaun. And when they steal from the gangster, the leprechaun is brought back after one of the, the friends steal the necklace off the leprechaun, whom was a statue due to the necklace's power. And after they remove the necklace, the leprechaun comes to life and goes, you know, from being a statue to being lifelike. And begins to hunt not only the gangster and his crew, but the, thiev the thieving upcoming rappers as well. Whom are in position, I mean, possession of the leprechaun's gold. This film for me is a four and a half star rating. In my opinion, Leprechaun in the Hood isn't the best Leprechaun movie I've seen, but it it isn't terrible. Um, this is Bad Timothy with another urban movie review.